So which one's more important, your personal image or your education? Now, some of you guys are thinking, Antonio, I get it. You've got a style channel. It's important to you. But can you really make the case that how you dress is more important than what's up here? In today's video, gents, I'm going to reveal to you using a law out of the School of Economics why sometimes you need to take resources earmarked for your education and move them over to your presentation so that you can get more out of life. You ready, guys? Let's do it. So let's start things off with what appears to be a random story, guys, but I'm going to bring it right back. There is this arcade game I loved as a kid. It was called Ivan Iron Man Stewart's Super Off-Road. And what I loved is when you won a race, you actually won prize money, which you could reinvest into your vehicle. Now, there are five places where you could put your money. You could put it in the nitro, which was cheap, but you didn't want to waste it all there. No, you wanted to upgrade your tires. You wanted to upgrade your shocks. You wanted to get a better engine so you could accelerate faster. And you wanted to upgrade the overall top speed. Now, the way to win the game was actually to create a balanced vehicle that would win race after race. And as you moved up, you got more money and then you could continue to upgrade the vehicle. What you didn't want to do was invest all your money in one part of the vehicle. So my point with this story, Think of yourself as that race car. You've got your education. You've got your experience. You've got your excitement, your passion. You've got your external presentation. And let me ask, in these four areas, are you balancing this out? The answer is no. Most people are going to over-dedicate resources to one of these areas. Most often, education. You're also going to see them spend a lot of time on their experience. But when it comes down to their excitement and their passion, they're going to lack there. And when it comes to their external presentation, they're barely getting by. They're not putting almost anything into this. And gentlemen, really quick, if you're enjoying this video, I'd appreciate it if you click on the like button. If you're new to Real Men Real Style, subscribe and make sure you've got the notifications turned on so you get updates when these videos come out. Gents, this interaction is important. The mighty YouTube god, Krom, he has said that you need to interact with my videos to show that it's something worth watching. So I really appreciate it when you guys interact and leave comments. Now, there's this quote out there you've probably seen. It's attributed to Oscar Wilde. It goes, a man can never be overeducated or overdressed. And my answer to that is yes, he can. Because you have a limited amount of resources. So, you want to make sure that you're spreading this out evenly into the areas that need it. You've only got so much time. You've only got so much money. You need to make sure you're spreading out your resources and you're putting it towards the area that can do the most good. And gents, let me be clear. I'm not saying you need to spend as much on your external appearance as you do on your education. But what I am saying is you don't want to spend everything on one and neglect everything else. Now, I know some of you guys are going to say, Antonio, what are you talking about? When I spend more resources on my education, more time building up my experience, I always see a return. I'm not going to argue with that. But is the return as much as you could see if you were to invest those resources elsewhere? What I'm talking about here, gentlemen, is the law of diminishing of returns. I'm pulling this out of the School of Economics, and this is a well-known law that clearly states that in all productive processes, adding more of one factor of production while holding all others constant will at some point yield a lower incremental per unit return. So, what's that mean in plain English? Guys, let me explain with a quick analogy. So, do you like pizza? I love pizza. Pizza makes me happy. And let's say my max happiness with pizza, 100%. Right now, I'm at zero. I'm famished. I get that first piece, amazing. I go to 50%. That second piece is good. It's not as good as the first one. So, I go from 50 to 75. That third piece is great, but it's still not as good as the first two. I go from 75 to 87.5. That fourth piece is good. And I go up to 93.75. So, do you notice as I ate more and more pieces of pizza, my return on investment for the later pieces continued to go down. So, now taking the law of diminishing returns, let's apply it to your education, your experience, your excitement, and your external presentation. So, let's say your education is at 93.75%, your experience is at 93.75%, your excitement, your passion for what you do is at 50% and when it comes to your external presentation, you're down at 10% because honestly, you haven't thought about it. You're just barely getting by here. Gentlemen, looking at this like a mathematical equation to have an effect on that final number, where can we put resources, your time, your money and see the biggest return? Gentlemen, the answer is obvious. It's your external presentation, the way you dress the way you speak, your mannerisms, your etiquette, 
your body language, the way that you engage with other human beings. If you could level this up, all of a sudden it's going to affect everything and you're going to come off as a more polished person. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you may actually be kicking butt on that external presentation. So ask yourself, okay, am I deficient when it comes to excitement, the passion for what I do? Am I deficient when it comes to experience, when it comes to education? And if you are, guys, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm going to link to tons of resources to each of them down in the description with your education guys, look at Audible, look at Skillshare, look at all the different platforms out there that you can get specific training so you can become better at what you do. When it comes actually to your experience, I actually had a guy come work for me for free for about a month. He wanted to show me what he could do and I love this because it was no risk to me. I ended up hiring him. He now has gone off to a much better job. I gave him a great recommendation and I loved seeing what he went out there and did. So, he was able to get that experience in an industry that he had never been in. And let's talk excitement. Maybe you've got no passion. You're in a dead end job and you hate what you do. If this is you, you need to find your purpose. Your purpose is why you are here. What were you put on this earth for? And everyone here was put here for a reason. When you have a purpose, all of a sudden you're going to have the strength to persevere, to go after what you want. And it's so much more than being happy. Happiness is an after effect. But when you've got a purpose, you will have the strength to go and get what you want in life. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, I think you're going to love this video right here, The Interchangeable Wardrobe. This is part of my foundational series and every man needs to have a basic understanding of what is an interchangeable wardrobe and how to build it. And if you've already watched that one, then go check out this other video right here, The Style Pyramid. I break out fit, function, and fabric, go into a lot of detail in this video right here. Again, guys, I'm linking to both of them down in the description. And gentlemen, as always, I've got you covered. I'm linking down in the description of today's video to tons of additional resources. Go check it out right there in the description of today's video. I've got you covered. That's it, gentlemen. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.